as the title suggests we are going to be making pumpkin soup so i used half of the pumpkin and chopped into pieces then boiled in salty water for around uh, 15 to 30 minutes how to know if your pumpkin is ready just use a knife or a fork and pierce the pumpkins and if it goes through the pumpkin is ready so set that aside drain the water and add in some oil in the same pot we will put some onions to cook we don't want our onions to brown so we lightly cook them but that's it for around two to three minutes everything up together add in your garlic cloves start to play with our spices so for this recipe i won't use as many spices as i would love to because i'm going to use chicken stock that's already spiced so i'll begin by adding in some black pepper then half a teaspoon of nutmeg Let it cook for a minute or so just so that the flavors can mix up really nicely. Then I'll add in my chicken stock. And let that simmer together as well. So once we're done we'll go to the blending process so put put the pumpkin in a blender and blend till you have some nice thick consistency then in the same pot put your blended pumpkin and this is where we'll add in our liquid so you can use uh, cooking cream but I chose to use milk so I did add quantities of milk slowly or gradually into my pumpkin just because I didn't want to mess up with the consistency so that's just putting all of the goodness that was left in the blender with some milk and then stir that up and let it simmer And voila, that's that's the type of consistency we want for our pumpkin soup. So we'll make our, our, our garlic bread. Um, as the as a name, we'll use garlic. So I used three cloves of garlic, and I um, I didn't chop them up. I grated them, just because chopped up garlic would have been bitter on the bread so you'd rather um grind grate it sorry not grind grate it really 
then that's how our garlic is looking so you can use any type of margarine so i chose to use a blue band margarine and i used two teaspoons of margarine and so that it's easy to work with we are going to microwave it for around seven seconds we don't want it to be so liquid so that's why i did seven seconds only we just want it to to be workable so mix the margarine with the garlic then for the garnishing we'll add in some parsley finely chopped parsley right so we'll spread this on our bread since i was making this for two people i chose to use four slices of bread so i applied the garlic paste that we've made with our margarine on both sides of the slices of bread then that's our bread ready to be baked so preheat your oven then add in your garlic bread slices just to be crunchy and for the margarine to like melt into the bread do that for like five minutes and serve 